Hey guys, okay, so I did say that I would come on and give you the answers to my five truths and five myths and let you know if, uh, well, who got the highest, highest amount right. Okay, so first of all, I will let you know which are true and which are false. Okay, number one. I fractured my spine playing roller derby. This is false. Um, I did fracture my spine, but it was doing judo, uh, not roller derby. I actually started playing roller derby after I fractured my spine, like after it healed, obviously. Um, so I, I wasn't even fighting anyone. I wasn't in a judo match or anything like that. We were doing a warm up and we had to on you know the crash mats, the big bouncy sort of fluffy crash mats. Okay, so we had to sprint up to that and do like a a rolling break fall, but like sort of like a half somersault sort of thing. Um, I hesitated as I got to the mat and I landed on my shoulders rather than on the middle of my back and the rest of my body like came down and my two vertebrae crushed the one in the middle. So I ended up with a compression fracture. Um, and then, I mean, I was bed bound for a little while while that was healing and then I tried to go back to judo, but I found I was I was just kind of fearful of doing everything after that. Um, and I just couldn't get back into the rhythm of it. I wasn't enjoying it anymore like I did. And, um, and then I found roller derby, which is also a high impact sport. So you'd think that I would be scared of that, but no, I was fine with that because I had never fractured or broken anything <laughs> playing it. So, um, yes. Um, okay. So yeah, that one's false. Um, number two, I studied to become a counselor. This one is true. Yes, I did. I've studied to become a great many things. Hello, bunny. He's just done it, done a little binky jump as he came running in. He can hear me talking and he's like, oh, I want to join in. Um, okay. So yes, I did study to become a counselor. I did, um, two years of the degree, um, as a night course. And, uh, after I had had, uh, Ethan and I had one year left where I had to basically uh, counsel a certain amount of people before I would become qualified. Um, and in the last year, they decided to move where they were doing it to about an hour's drive away. So I couldn't get to it because I didn't drive. And, um, and they decided to make it a full-time course so I would have had to have gone during the day and because I had Ethan, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I ended up not being able to finish that. Um, not in any kind of practical way. Okay, so that one was true. Uh, number three, I love true crime. Now, I think everyone knows that I love true crime because everyone guessed number three was true. And it is. It is true. Um, so I wasn't like greatly into true crime and then, uh, I started studying forensics. Um, and one of the things was obviously watching a lot of documentaries, studying a lot of case studies. And I find, I found myself really fascinated by it all. Um, so yeah, I do. I do love true crime, um, true crime films, true crime documentaries, the whole shebang. Um, 
Number four, coffee is my favourite drink, my favourite hot drink. No, I do not like coffee. I don't like coffee at all. Tea, tea is my favourite hot drink. And failing that, hot chocolate. Um, number five, I don't have any tattoos. This one is true. I don't have any tattoos. I have designed many tattoos for myself over the years of things that I would like to get tattooed. And, um... And my brother actually actually is a tattoo artist, so it's probably quite surprising that I don't have any. Um, but I I don't know. There's always something in the back of my head like, well, but what if something not necessarily goes wrong, but what if I don't like it? What if I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, no, that doesn't suit me? Um, so, yeah, I've just kind of left it, really. Maybe still one day <laughs> I'll I'll find one of my designs and go, right, now is the time. I'm 80. I I can do it now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but no, I don't have any tattoos. So that one is true. I used to play roller derby. Well, I kind of gave this one away at the beginning, didn't I? Um, yes, I, I did used to play roller derby. And the only reason that I had to stop was because of health. It wasn't any other reason. I absolutely loved playing roller derby. But for health reasons, for the, the fact that I can't even walk now, I don't think I'd be safe on skates. I still have all of my skates, just in case one day a miracle happens and I wake up completely fine. But, um, but no. Um, yes, I, I used to play roller derby. Um, number seven, I walked a hundred kilometers in a weekend for charity. And this one is again, true. So not that long ago, obviously before I got ill, I joined a, oh, what were they, what are they called? Something challenge. I walked from, um, from London to Brighton um, 60, is it 62 or 67 miles? But anyway, a hundred kilometers from Brighton to, from London to Brighton. And, um, I, uh, did it in 27 hours over the weekend. Um, it was all, uh, an organized event. So it was all signposted and things like that, which is good because I would have got lost otherwise. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was it was very much a. It was as much of a having mental strength as having physical strength that you needed to complete it, because you you're gonna get blisters on your feet your legs are gonna get like at one point towards the end I had to we had to climb over this uh sty and I had to physically pick up my leg and lift it over with my hands I had to pick it up so I could lift it over because my legs were that tired um and yeah you just I cried when I when I crossed the finishing line I cried. <laughs> um, but I ended up raising, a, I think it was about 800 and something pounds for uh, Parkinson's disease. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was quite proud of myself. I ended up also losing about three stone in a week after that. So <laughs> I put it all back on again. <laughs> but but I lost a heck of a lot of weight and um and I wasn't I wasn't slim when I did that either I was overweight so don't don't let your weight stop you from doing something that you really really want to do or achieve um because anything's anything is achievable regardless of your size um <clears throat> 
Okay, so yeah, that one is true. And so obviously the last three are false. So number eight, I have two children. Nope, this is false. I have three children. I have Ethan. He's uh, 21 and off at uni at the moment. I have Dylan, who is um, 15. And he's at the cinema at the moment. <laughs> but he'll be back. Um, and I have Evie who is nine and uh, she's at her dad's at the moment. So yeah, I have three children. Uh, number nine, I've been to Japan. I have not, but I would love to go. I, um, I do, I've been trying to learn Japanese for the sort of like past five or six years, but uh, I find that I'm really quite good on the Rosetta Stone app. And then as soon as I come off it, I have no idea. I don't know how to say anything. Um, so, yeah, it's like my brain loses it all as soon as it's off of that app. I'm not very good at, at uh, transferring the language into real life. Um, number 10, I love orange flavoured things. Um, no, I don't like orange flavoured things. I like oranges, but orange flavoured things give me migraines. So I, I, I really don't like them. <laughs> I think it's the concentrate or, or something. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, orange flavoured things tend to give me migraines. Okay. So sorry about the, um, movement i had i was sat on my foot and it started to get pins and needles so i had to move it okay so those are the uh those are the answers and okay so we have no one that guessed all five um quite a few of you guessed three and four of you guessed four of them correctly and so I will get a little um, prize out to all four of you if you want I will leave my um, email in the description box in case you haven't got it um, and if you email me where I'm to send your little prize to um, and those people are um, Ellie Sparkles, <laughs> um, um, Margaret Flaxman, Black Whisper Crafts, aka Bex, and Sugar Ray Crafts. So, um, I will tag all four of you, and hopefully, uh, YouTube will allow that because sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah. Well done. You got four four out of the five right. Um, so, fabuloso. Um, so, yeah. Well, thank you all for, for joining in the fun. I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was great fun. Um, and I will... Um... So thank you for everyone watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. I hope you are happy and healthy. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.